for your new identity, right? I am the identity artist. It's my job to assess what you currently have, uh, map out any changes and write them down, measure things out, so that you can be sent to receive your new identity. Mm -hmm. We'll just get right into it. Uh, this will take quite a while. Uh, you can't rush art and I'm an artist, so let's begin. I first want to just have a feel about what's going on, touch your face, and see what we've worked with at the moment. Okay, so. Okay. So. Okay, it's his forehead. It's very uh, distinguished by the lines here. Mm -hmm. We have a little bit of freckling up here. Excellent. Then we move down to the nose. Okay. Yeah, so you have this current shaped nose and has that been working for you? You find it's too distinguished. Okay, so we can kind of tone this back a little bit. Bring the section forward, I think. Mm -hmm. uh, let me have a look at your eyes. Okay, and is that colour? Okay, mm -hmm. right, so that will need to change. It's perfectly fine. I'm bringing the flashlight down. Just want to have a look at the eye structure. Oh, yeah, okay. Very. Marvellous work. And who did this last identity that you currently have? Spectacular work. Stunning. I would almost argue that I had done it myself. But I do see a few... A few things I would have done differently, but that's fine. You're in my hands now. Okay, and your cheeks. Mm-hmm. Very symmetrical. Yes. I think we'll go with something a little less symmetrical this time. Mm. People tend to detect symmetry quite quickly. Whereas if we had a little bit more asymmetry, it would blend in a little bit more. Which is good. But also, it's a little bit more believable. You know, realistic features. We want to be realistic. Alright, can I look at your mouth, please? I'm just going to hold you under your chin. Mm-hmm, and make this face. Perfect. All right, could you just tilt your chin up for me? Okay. Just having a look at this neck here. Okay, so your jawline. Yes, that's going to have to change as well. That's quite distinguished. Mm-hmm. Your chin. No, it's gonna have to go. It's gonna have to go. Absolutely, I'm going to have to go. Right, I want to take a look at your skin now. So bring your chin down. I'm just going to run this across the cheek and the bridge of the nose. Okay, so I think this time around we're going to add a little bit of frickling. Yes. Maybe a little bit of scarring around here. As well, some natural scarring for this time around, I think. Mm hmm. Yes, you've got a few facial markings here. Yeah, they'll have to go. That's definitely too distinguishing. They'll absolutely have to go. Tell me, um, how many of the uh, new identities have you done? This is your. Oh! And is that, is that normal, to have that many? Interesting. You'd think that we would just hire new people instead of 
getting new identities, but I believe you are the best at the best of what you do, so of course, new identities for you. Okay. Right. I'm going to be measuring certain features of the face. to just begin with the eyes. Typically we begin with the eyes and the nose, and then the rest of the face is built around it. Perfect. So the eyes here, we're working with... Okay. Mm -hmm. Perfect. The eye. Right. Mm -hmm. So where are you located this time around? Okay, that's perfect. That's just what we need. So we'll go for that colour. The current measurements are 9 by 3. So I think we'll bring this up to a 10 by 2. So, just having a look at the type of eye. So currently we are downturned. I think we should move a little bit more to... Yes, I believe that would be a good shape. Okay, just going to draw that on. So, yes, I'm just going to be sketching out what it is that will be better suited for you. Then we send you away with measurements and that way the augmentation process is nice and quick. Mm-hmm. Yes, you've done this plenty of times, you know what I'm talking about, don't you? Okay. I'm just going to draw an arrow here, and an arrow here. Perfect. Move on to the nose. Okay. That's seven. And here. Turn your head to the side. Yes, I think we'll add the bump in this time. Mm -hmm. So, currently we've got kind of a slope like this by 10, by 2, by 5. But I think we'll change that to more of a 7. And then add the bump here. So I'm just going to make a note of that. So I'll put a B here, bump, and I'm going to bring this section in here, this section here, and we're going to bring this up, and then I'm just going to right here to elongate this here. Perfect. Okay, moving out, I think we'll go onto the brow ridge. Yes. Okay, it's quite a sturdy brown ridge at the moment. Okay. Mm. How far is that approximately to the eye? Yes, okay. Okay. I think we'll go for a thicker brown, thicker closer to the eye than on the outside. Mm -hmm. So bring this in here and then bring that out here. And I'm just going to draw a circle around here. Okay. Forehead time. Bring that in slightly. Currently we are more at an oval. 
Or a heart? Yes, a heart. I want to bring that into an oval, I think. Mm. More oval shaped. And can you smile for me? To six. And can you smile? Yes, I know it's hard to smile after everything that you've been through, but you have to do what we need to do, right? of pleasantness around the mouth. Perfect. Right. Now I would like to do your cheeks. Okay, cheek one. Mm-hmm. Again, I wanted this to be less symmetrical. That's an only event. I want to bring this one to a 12 by a 10. Okay. Now I'd like you to frown. So, yep. Excellent. And okay. Smile. Mm-hmm. Okay. Could you please move your head that way? Okay, I think we could bring this cheekbone down a little lower than on. Maybe that way? Yes, cheekbone lower here, higher here. Perfect. It's ten, eleven. This one to come up, and this one to come down. Fix that there, fix that there. I think we'll bring this one in a little bit as well. Mm-hmm. This one. This one can stay at this point. All right. Now we're going to go in with facial markings. So, yes, we had the. Beauty marks here, and I want to bring some freckling over here. Yep, and some scarring here. Okay. Freckling. Fish marks. And scarring. Theme. And this one on the right cheek. I'm just going to put a circle around this beauty mark here. T for terminate. And a circle. 
circling this area is the scarring and all over here is for freckling perfect now I would like to assess your chin facial hair this time around. Mm-hmm. We can do that, so. Mm-hmm. Bring this here. And I think for here, we'll bring it down here. Excellent. Mm-hmm. Excellent. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to make some more notes. So. Hair colouring, what were you thinking? Yes, perfect. Sounds good. Texture? Mm hmm, excellent. over with the jaws. Let's see. Okay. Okay, so this is much too sharp. Much too sharp. We need something softer, something rounder. That was 11 by 12. I think we need to bring this around. Much too sharp, much too sharp. It is system rounded, so it needs to be brought out more. Mm -hmm. I want to go once over with the magnifying glass. to be some veining around the eye and okay that's kind of got a yeah that shade is going to have to change it's, the undertone at the moment is just it's too specific to this face so we're going to change the undertone of the veining
Okay. Please, scrunch your face up. Mm-hmm. Okay, so we have some lines here between the eyes and crow's feet. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes, every facial feature has a purpose to share and send a message to everyone around you. Which means that every facial feature is valid. We are, after all, just consciousness that is observing itself on a physical plane. And therefore, the vessel that carries our consciousness could be treated as an avatar, which is open to change, or not open to change, but in your occupation, that is very much open to a change. That is fine. Okay, so these lines here. I want to remove those, but I do want to add some lines there. Add some here. I want to add a little bit under the eye. Yes, no facial feature is better than the other. That is an absolute fact, an absolute truth. When we create the avatars that our consciousness resides in, every choice we make is for a purpose of learning. Could you frown for me? I have a dimple here. I just want to move this dimple. Yeah, so I'll move that dimple and put it on the chin, I think. Okay. And we gotta look at those ears. Okay, so the ears. So, I believe that I have done everything that needs to be done. I would like you to take this piece of paper and take it with you for your augmentation right now. Yes, so they will assess your face quickly and use that to determine what the changes are going to be. Do they need any further information? They have this. And I will add my serial number. If they require to page me, everything 
Okay, I should be incredibly thorough and precise. Mm. Well, I look forward to seeing you again. Maybe I'll recognize you, maybe I won't. But now that I've seen you, I can guarantee you that I 